Okay, today going to do one actually on this environment 150 over here, but um, we just picked up this the three at the bottom uh, a couple days ago. This environment 150, um, environment 450 here, and environment 1000 from a guy on uh, Facebook. Uh, he was about four hours away, and we met halfway, so. That worked out, you know, cash and carry, and that's the way to go because shipping amplifiers is not that easy. And I picked up the 150 here from him and the uh, 450 and 1,000. I already had the 250 here, and I was trying to look up and see what all I can find on, on the environments online. Environment also makes a 100, which is a small little guy, only looks like a mobile one. 100 has two tubes, two 6KV6s, which is the small ball tubes. And um, environment has the uh, next one is the 150 here, which is one drive and one. And we left the covers off and we got under the side to show you what the inside looks up. Um, pretty darn clean for, you know, like a 50 year old uh, amplifier there. And that's it there. Um, this 150 is one driving one. You know, very interesting configuration. One small baldy, a 6KV6, driving a um, 6LR6, which is a uh, substitute for the 6LF6. So basically a 6KV6 driving a 6LF6. One driving one. I'm not too crazy about that. And if you could see the board down there. Let me stand up. Uh, come on, old man. You can see that the other two uh, tube sockets is not populated. And what Varman did was use the same exact board for the 150, 250, 350, and 450. And on the 150, it's is one driving one. The 250 and the 350 are one drive and two and the difference between the 250 and the 350 is the 350 got a more voltage and a heavier power supply and the 450 has one drive and three um, so that's the difference between those and CB tricks has the schematics for the 150 through 450 I mean same board same schematic except it's more tubes in the as you go along there then they got the um, after the 450 they got the 600 which I don't have one of and can't find any information on the net on the 600 and the thousand there but I did see that the 600 from the net is two driving four and again, the 450 was one driving three. The 600 is two driving four. And the Big Bad 1000 is three driving six. Nine, two were there. Three of the small ones driving six of the big ones. So we haven't opened those up and played with those yet. But we did get the uh, 150 going. It was actually pretty clean. But then we used some, what I thought was mild cleaner on the front and it kind of smeared it a little bit we may be able to fix that may not but it's kind of taken off the lettering dog on it but anyway um, one driving one you got your final I guess plate would be plate tune there and then the low and then driver plate tune and then this is it is just marked as a delay for SSB when you're on SSB to delay for the relay. RF power light. It lights brighter with um, RF going out. And then AM SSB switch just to delay for the relay. Standby operate. High and then super mod. Super mod puts more bias on the driver tube and less dead key and swings more. And then uh power on off switch and you got a grid meter <laughs> that meter goes to the grid there interesting they kind of use a blower on these and it kind of sucks air through it and out 
um, like an air chamber on these. That I guess I kind of like. Keeps the whole um, amp cool instead of just, you know, blowing air on the tubes. So anyway, I guess everything's clear because we should have her plugged in. We're going to um, turn her on. Let her warm up for a few. We're using the um, little Chris Mud Duck 3.5 watt radio going into it. And you don't want to put a lot of watts into a amp that's one drive in one, right? Um, you know, one tube output is only going to do, you know, 50 or 100 watts. And that's basically what this one does. It's basically 50, 50 bird watts and it'll hit one, 100 peak. Um, let me stand up again carefully this has two trim caps this one here would be the uh, driver load remember on the front it had the uh, driver tune or they call it plate for plate tune driver plate tune and that one there on the inside would be driver load and it uses a cap and a cap only for the input tune or the input SWR so you can vary it some but not a lot because it's not a true uh, you know tuner with just a cap and no uh, no inductor on it so anyway she ought to be warmed up good and hopefully still tuned and a watt meter you know hooked up and all so we gonna key her down right quick See the light barely lighting. Light lighting up, meter going. And we're on super mod, so that's the lower dead key there. On the watt meter on the dummy load, 200 watt scale. And we're dead keying about 60. Audio, audio, audio. Talking about 75 RMS. And that's again on the uh, super mod swinging side. Listen to about 90. Um, actually, might be mistuned a little bit for me moving it around before I made the video. She would do about 110 peak if we kind of tried to peak it up. Oh no, that is average. Let's put her on peak. Audio, audio. There we go. About 125 peak. Audio, audio, audio. And that's about all she does. Well. She do a little bit more dead key on the high side. We got her on high now. And she's dead key in 90 instead of 60. Audio, audio. Audio, audio. Hitting about 140 peak. And that's going to be it today for this uh, Varmint XL50. One drive in one. And then coming up soon, hopefully, if everything go well, uh, the Varmint XL450. And the Varmint XL1000 coming up. You know, we already had the 250. We already did a video on that. So if you look around, you, uh, you want to see what the 251 driving 2 does, you can just look down on it. All right, that's going to be it for my Varmint today. All right. Bye.